Okay, so here we are at the pattern folding practice generator with a generate practice problem. So you want to look at the largest shapes first, and then you want to look at what is the unique thing about these shapes. Here we have the small shaded rectangle box, and it's on the non-shaded side, but in A, the non-shaded side is not on the small rectangle. In here, you can see the same thing in C. The shaded side is on the shaded side, but that's not in the original problem. So now we're between B and D, and the thing that you can see on both of them is that shape right there. And now you can see in the rectangular box with the small shaded rectangle box in it, it's right next to the non-shaded part of the biggest shape. But the rectangle box that has the two triangles in it, one shaded one not, should be next to the shaded part of the biggest shape. However, it's not. And then that's how you can eliminate your answer choices and know that the answer is B. So this is similar to the last problem where you look at the two largest shapes and you recognize that they are mere images of each other. So then you look at the rectangles and you can see the one that has the two triangles, one shaded and one not, the triangle side should be on the shaded side of these biggest shapes. And as in A, the triangle is on the non-shaded part of these biggest shapes. So it's not A. Now we are focused on the little rectangle with the little rectangle shaded in it. And you can see that the shaded little rectangle is connected to the shaded triangle. And when we look at B, the shaded rectangle is not on the shaded triangle. C, the shaded rectangle is not on the shaded triangle. But in D, it is. To me, the cubes are the easiest ones, and I'm going to show you why in a second. So that's the top and the bottom. So since you know that, they should be on opposite sides, and they should not be shown in the same picture. So they're not shown in A together. They're not shown in B, C, but they are shown in D. So we know D cannot be the correct answer. So we are looking for a distinct feature, and there's only one shaded square. And as you can see, next to the square, both of the triangles are non-shaded, so there shouldn't be a shaded triangle touching. And in A, there's a shaded one touching. B, there's a shaded one touching. But in C, there's not. The answer is C. So the first thing I notice is that the bottom is going to have three shaded triangles, while the top is going to form two shaded triangles. And the two rectangular boxes you see with the little shaded rectangles are both on the sides touching the three shaded triangles and not the two. So here A, the shaded rectangle is touching the two sided one, which is wrong. And in C, it's touching the two sided shaded triangle, which is wrong as well. So now we're left between B and D. So now focusing on the, that rectangle and that shaded little rectangle next to the non-shaded triangle, we can also see that the rectangle next to it is going to have a shaded triangle and that the shaded side should touch the base of that shaded triangle while the other shaded rectangle on the shaded triangle side would touch at the point of the shaded triangle in the rectangle. So it's not D, but it's B. So this is the cube trick that I wanted to show you. So if you have squares in a straight line and they're two spaces apart, then you know that they have to be on opposite sides and they can't be touching each other. So as we see here, 1 and 5 should be on opposite sides, so let's check. And C, they're touching each other, so that can't be the answer. And indeed, they're touching each other, so that can't be the answer. So now let's look at 6 and 3. Okay, that doesn't help us out. And since there's only two sides left, we know 4 and 2 will be on opposite sides, but that doesn't help us either, as it's not shown. So the only difference between A and B is that the 4 is on separate sides, so now we have to imagine this. So... If you fold 3 down and have it facing you, and then you fold in the 4, the 4 should be on the left side, so the answer is B. So, now you want to look at the rectangle in between the two larger shapes, and recognize that the rectangle with the two triangles is on the longer side. So, if we look at A, we see no triangles on the longer side, so it can't be that. B, it does have the triangles. C, it doesn't have the triangles. And in D, we can't tell. So now our answer choices are between B and D. Now looking at the unique shape, 
there's a square with two triangles in it. And if we fold that in, you will see that the, the base of the biggest shape will line up with one of the sides of the shaded triangle. So now we look at D and we see the shaded part of the larger shape. However, it isn't touching one of the sides of the shaded triangles. So we know that the answer has to be B. So with a cube, we can look at opposite sides. However, this one is going to be harder since two of the squares are the same and another two of the squares are the same. If we look at the two squares with triangles in them, we see that they are next to each other and they follow a pattern of shaded triangle, unshaded, shaded, unshaded. However, when you look at C, they go shaded, unshaded, unshaded, shaded, which is wrong, and unshaded, shaded, shaded, unshaded, which is also wrong, so it can't be C and D. Now it's between A and B. So now A, you can see, is facing the same way as the original problem. So we would just fold down the box on top of it, and you would see that the shaded side would be on the right side, but it's on the left. So we know it's not A, and it has to be B. As always, start off by looking at the two largest shapes, and we see one is half shaded when it's not shaded at all and then we are going to look at the differences between these and we see that the rectangle with a smaller shaded rectangle and the small square with the smaller square shaded are the differences between a b c and d so now we're going to investigate that and we see that the small shaded square is on the same side as the smaller shaded rectangle and there's a little bit of distance between them. So in A, they are on the same side and there's a little bit of distance, so that's still an option. B, they're on the same side, but there's not enough distance, so B cannot be the answer. And D, they're not on the same side, but they do have the right distance, so it's not D. So now it's between A and C. Now we can see a better view of C, so we're going to focus on that. And that little small shaded square should be next to a large shaded square and in C we don't see that and we see a large shaded square next to a half shaded triangle square but that's not right so it's A. So the first thing to look at are the hexagons where there's two shaded triangles next to each other then the other one, three shaded triangles. And as you can see, two, two, and three. However, in D, all three shaded triangles are next to each other, so it can't be D. Now it is time to place the squares on where they would line up on the triangle. So a shaded square to that shaded triangle, that one to that one, that one to that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and the white square on another shaded triangle. So now we can look at A, B, and C and see if that lines up. So in A, we see that there's two shaded squares on two shaded triangles, which is not the correct answer, so it can't be A. Now focusing on C, we see that there's the white square with the other shaded triangle, and it follows the pattern of shaded white shaded squares, which is how it would be in the original one. In B, we can't see the back size, so we don't know if there's a non-shaded square on the shaded triangle on the side we can't see and that's why it is C.